is. So yeah, guys, I'm going to travel the world with this backpack with just 10 kilos on my back. It's the Tortuga carry-on backpack. And don't worry, it's not a picture, it's a video. But I'm going to pause it because I'm doing voiceovers because I'm practicing for my Hollywood movie. Just kidding. Um, so let's see what we have here. I'm going to um, show you the whole thing. Not just how cool it looks because I really like it. And nobody's paying me for saying that. And even though they would. Um, they should, I mean, I don't even know how to speak English. Anyways, let's see what we have here. So, the Tortuga ba backpack carry-on size, um, it has this main zipper, which is the one that you're gonna put your clothes in, it's the main one, and it opens like a suitcase, case, not like a normal backpack. That's a, one of the cool features. And this zipper here is the expansion zipper, which uh, gives you, an eight of, I think, five extra inches. And um, honestly, I don't see the use of it because I packed everything using this zipper. And then I say, I said to myself, oh, my God, I can just zip, zip it again and, you know, looked less compressed and stuff. So I don't think it's that useful. But, well, it has it, so it's cool anyway. And this zipper here, it's for the laptop and also the Kindle or your tablet. And since everything here is pretty comfortable, you won't have problems. You might notice it, but it's not going to be com uh, uncomfortable for your back. So this other zipper here is for a bottle or a toothbrush like I use and things like that. So let's see what's inside and how I packed it to travel around the world. By the way, everything here weighs around 9 kilos something in total. So what I want to say is that most of the airlines, you're going to be okay. Some even allow more. But for some uh, Asian airlines, uh, sometimes they allow just 7 kilos. So it depends on your luck or how well you are packing or what the things you need to, the things you think you need. And also, I'm wearing all kinds of, um, I'm bringing all kinds of winter clothes and summer clothes. So, because it's for traveling the world, so I don't know what weather to expect. So... I'm going to use, like, I'm going to be, like, shrek -ed. So, Shrek, like, you know, the Disney character. Like, going with uh, layers, like the onions. So, yeah, first I'm going to pack everything, and then I'm going to unpack it, showing what's inside the um, compression cubes. Compressing cubes, sorry about that. And, um, yeah, they cost me a shit lot of money, but I would buy them again. Uh, because it's pretty good to organize everything, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to put inside by the way this part here on the left um it's great if you want to put uh, dirty clothes and things like that but honestly i feel like the clothes is a little bit uh like i'm gonna break it at any time or something and i treat my tortuga like very well but just in case um just saying um this is a full cube but i use just half of it because i don't know if i will gonna want to put something else inside while I travel and all that so yeah here I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem putting my training sneakers uh, but don't worry it, they gonna fit in it's gonna fit that's what she said sorry about that um, so yeah we're gonna see now what I put inside and maybe that's of course just my opinion and what I put inside and maybe on the road I'm gonna see that fuck it, I don't need this, or I need this, or things like that. I already decorated it, as you can see, with my Catalonia flag and a Swedish pin, and things like that. I'm not Swedish, but I'm Catalan. Anyways, see, what's inside? My laptop. I'm bringing a MacBook Pro, but now I would buy probably a MacBook Air for the kind of digital jobs I'm doing. Uh, that way, it would lay, wait a little bit less. Also, I'm bringing the kindle and as you can see it's connected to my back my mac why because i was just showing off i just had two weeks to go but i was so excited in packing my tortuga that i packed everything two weeks before leaving and i was just wearing my shitty clothes uh in my in barcelona here where i am from so let's see let's continue let's see what's inside um first from pocket the charger, as you can see, it was the first thing because I was just showing off and I was actually using it. Um, here I have my pen. I have the passport. The size of this pocket is perfect for it. 
Uh, here I have my hard drives, which is, by the way, new and it's super light. New for me, not the model. It's the WD Elements, it's one tera, so it's pretty cool with a USB here. And inside I have a, yeah, the charger of my iPhone and also an adapter for whatever I am. I don't have problems going to a supermarket or charging my laptop. And this is me throwing a cover because we don't need it. You are protected with your, um, no, but seriously, wait a second. Can we acknowledge that? Uh, it's just that we don't need, I don't, I'm not bringing any covers for my Mac or my Kindle because it's pretty well covered in my back. So it wouldn't, that wouldn't make sense actually. So what else? We have here my sunglasses and uh, headphones. I have a bulky headphones, but uh, I figured this would go way better because I don't need the bulky ones. The bulky ones, yeah, better sound, but not that good and for doing sports and things like that. Here in the, um, I have my trimmer for my cool beer and uh, my toothbrush. And you can put a, water, a bottle here or whatever. And I have this locker, which is too big, that's what she said, for the, um, for the zipper. So I'm gonna have to buy another one or just don't bring locker at all. So let's, let's take a look inside. Let's take a look, what do I have? A towel, it's a, um, pretty compressed towel, it's pretty good, it's L size. My flip-flops, uh, when you think about traveling the world, you think about Bali, about Thailand and things like that, and uh, sounds like everybody there is using flip-flops, and also this is straw hats, like Luffy from One Piece. Anyways, um, here I have this shirt, which is for doing sports. I have this, oh yeah, the thermic, Thermic, how do you pronounce? Thermic, thermic, uh, pants for winter. Um, this is my shirt, thermic as well for winter. And sorry, those were the thermic uh, pants. The other one were shorts for doing sports. And this is my swimming suit. So let's take a look at the sneakers. Whoa, there's a shirt inside. Um, also the other sneaker, does it have something? Yeah, three pairs of socks. Just kidding, three more, ha. Huh. What else do we have here? Uh, the cube that I have, uh, yeah, one jersey, like the winter socks, and um, two more, like long shirt sleeve. Here we have, in the other one, okay, I don't remember what was that, oh yeah, shirt. Short pants, long pants, plus the ones that I'm gonna be winging with me. And this is pretty cool. It's like a jacket, a feathered jacket, and it's very compressible and it's very warm. So that's like a mandatory item on my on my packing list. Um, finally, the last cube. Here we have underwear, underwear all the way, but also two or three long sleeve shirts which are pretty compressible, so that's pretty cool. So you can just, even if it's winter, you can use a lot of layers and wear that jacket. So here we have it, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm gonna bring around the world. First, I'm going to Stockholm, then probably Poland. Then I'm gonna head to Asia, to Thailand. And that's pretty much it. Just wanted to point that point out that I did a lot of research and I ended up paying a lot of money for this bag because I'm not from the US. I pay like 200 something plus ports and things like that. So that's a lot of money. I would say that with the compression, uh, it's not even compression with the organizers, I reached the 300 euros, I would say. But um, I'm super excited for just bringing my house on my back because honestly, I sold every bulky stuff that I had. Um, so yeah, hopefully everything is going to be all right. If you want to follow my journey, follow me on YouTube and um, my blog, pow.me, and you can subscribe to the newsletter. And yeah, I'll catch you around and I'll see you probably traveling. So have fun and take care. Thanks for watching.